don't know what to do. I heard you. I heard your plaintiff cry. Um, what Miranda and I were doing, we're searching, searching through her notebook looking for topics, but you have a topic. You just don't know which genres to choose. Yeah. This is your I Remember mm -hmm. that you started. Is it? Does it feel finished to you? Yeah. Where is Jockey Cat? Um, Barbara. Thanks for teaching me how to play Jingle Bells on the guitar. Mm -hmm. Did you write this just in one long stream of thought? Maybe. Like one thing after another in your list, or did you move them around once you had a list? Mm, just like Because I was reading it, thinking about which lines were most powerful. You know how a piece, even an I Remember poem, can move from the simplest things, but it kind of gathers into the most important things. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering if the first Christmas without you is as important as being the only one who spoke at the memorial service, or when I heard you were gone, or spreading your ashes. What I'm wondering is, and what makes working on a computer so easy, is to just take a line and drop it somewhere else and play with the order they go in to get the feeling of the momentum mm -hmm. that you want. Yeah. Now, you don't have anything else yet written about Grandpa. Mm -hmm. Just that I remember. It's a perfect place to start because you could take one of the lines and stretch it out. You could take up here when he teaches you how to play Jingle Bells on the guitar. You could write that as a scene. You could take, I remember when you taught me how to shoot a gun. You could end up with a commentary on why grandfathers should be allowed to teach their granddaughters how to shoot a gun. But you don't want to put limits on that. Um, I've had people write, I put on the board with the list of genres, an obituary for their grandfather, but not the kind that would show up in the paper, the kind that would be the real story. All the, like would have the important things in it, the details, but it would have more than that. So what I would spend time on today, play a little bit with lines, where do they go? And then think, is there one of those I could expand into the full story? Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll check back with you later. Very curious. All right. I'm going to check later. Alrighty. Yes. What's your question? Um, I have what I wrote. I mean, yeah. I have what I, like, said at his last service typed on a piece of paper. Can yeah. Put that in there? Absolutely. People oftentimes add things. Because you may want to make it a more complete, like, have the program. Other kinds of things make it a more complete project. Have you thought of who it's for? Who's your audience? Mm -hmm. My grandma. She's gonna love it, don't you think? Yeah, and I kind of want to for my mom too. Yeah, that's powerful. 